Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King And today I'm going to be giving you part 10 of What If Kurama Gave Naruto a Dojutsu And before we start I'll be leaving a link at the top of the description I just posted a new episode of What If Naruto Was the next stage of 6th path on my second channel I'll be leaving a link for you guys to enjoy Get this one to 100 likes as usual, remember to share to all of your friends on your social media platform and turn on that bell notification stay posted when you click that red subscribe button. And if you haven't yet, what are you waiting for? I know you see that subscribe button. So go ahead and click on it to join and be a part of Anime King family. And also, the link in the top of the description will lead to my second channel where you can enjoy love the what ifs as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Start the intro. Basically last time, a little bit of recap, Naruto, Kiba and Sasuke were on one team. They ended up passing the bell test in the last part. Naruto after that went home as Kurama told him that she can give him the ability to talk to Kasumi, his dog, as Naruto was super excited. Kurama did something and after 10 minutes, Naruto was able to understand his dog. So basically that was able you guys can check it out for yourself and go and enjoy. So yeah, let's get straight in this new part. Kasumi, can you understand me? Naruto said, as he looked down at Kasumi. Yes, Naruto, said Kasumi. I can't understand you. Naruto jaw drop. I am surprised that you can understand me, Naruto. Kasumi told him as she looked at him. Naruto was at a complete shock. Kasumi was actually talking to him. You and I have the Kayubi to thank for that. Naruto told her. Kasumi nodded as she rolled on the floor. Thank you, Kayubi, said Kasumi. I always wanted to speak with Naruto like this. Kasumi said with a big smile on her face. Naruto smiled as he laid on the bed. Kasumi smiled as she rested on Naruto's stomach. Exactly why do you like that spot so much? Kasumi chuckled as she looked at him. When you sleep, I feel the rumbling in your stomach. And it's quite relaxing, Naruto, Kasumi responded. Naruto chuckled as Kasumi then stood up as she smirked from her idea. Naruto, you remember the man beast clone Jutsu, right? Kasumi asked him as Naruto quirked up her eyebrow but nodded. Sure, Kasumi, what about it? Naruto asked as Kasumi smirked as she then hopped to her four feet. You want to see what I look like? I have a human form. Well, it's more like a half human, half dog. Naruto nodded as then Kasumi was enveloped with smoke as Naruto coughed. But when the smoke cleared, Naruto's jaw was hanging down low as he was at complete shock and surprise. Kasumi was quite beautiful. Her hair flowed down to her shoulders. She had a black tail and fur covered some part of her body mainly her breasts and her sides. Naruto continued to stare as Kasumi slightly blushed. Naruto, if you continue to stare at me like that, I will feel embarrassed, Kasumi told him. Naruto broke the staring after hearing the Kayubi laugh and rolling around in his mind. Kasumi, you look great, Naruto told her as she slightly blushed and then jumped on the bed on Naruto. Naruto, is something wrong? Kasumi asked him as she looked down to see Naruto's face, red like a tomato. Oh, I'm fine, said Naruto, as Kasumi started to lick Naruto's face, as what she always does, but that was when she was in her dog form. But now she was in a teen girl form, as Naruto tried to hold back his face from bursting. As his face was so red, he looked like he was going to explode. Naruto, are you okay? 
Kasume asked him. The Kayubi continued to laugh inside of Naruto's mind as Naruto just turned his head. You're so cute, said Kasumi, as she then lay down and fell asleep. Later that night, Naruto woke up back as he looked on the human form of Kasumi. As the Kayubi interrupted, So, are you going on half humans now? The Kayubi asked him. Naruto blushed slightly. I doubt that it would work out, Naruto told the Kayubi, as the Kayubi simply chuckled. It's not impossible, Naruto. Demons and humans meet, and they breed what are called Henyu. Just think of her as a dog demon, a very very sexy dog demon. The Kayubi told him, Naruto chuckled as he thought about the idea of having kids with Kasumi, as he felt really awkward and weird, so he flashed that idea out of his mind. And with that he cut the connection, and the Kayubi went off as Naruto went to sleep. The next morning, Naruto groggily got up. As he looked around the room, he saw that Kasumi was gone as he headed towards the shower, knowing that he has a mission today. Naruto opened the door to see Kasumi humming a sweet tune as she turned and looked at him with a blush. Good morning, Naruto, Kasumi said to him. Naruto nodded as he smiled and stepped inside. She was in her dark form. Naruto was just thinking about her human form as he then went inside. She flashed off and finished her shower, leaving Naruto. As Naruto then took a shower about 10 minutes, he came out backside as he saw Kasumi eating her doggy food, realizing that she must have used the jutsu, turning her human form and shared a bowl for herself. He went down and sit and had breakfast for himself. After that he got dressed and packed. Kasumi then climbed up on the top of his head as the both of them headed off. Today was the mission to wave. At the gate of Konoha, Naruto made it to the gate as he took in two forms at the gate. He saw Kiba along with the bridge builder. Hey Kiba, hey Tazuna, Naruto yelled as the both of them turned and waved at Naruto. One hour later, Sasuke and Kakashi appeared. As they were ready to head off. Alright, Team 7, move out, Kakashi ordered, as everyone nodded and exit Konoha to go on their way. After a couple minutes of walking, they soon came up to a puddle of water. Naruto, realizing that rain hadn't fallen in a couple of days and the sun was steaming hot, why would this puddle of water just be here? He then made a quick sign to Kiba, who got it. As Kiba then turned and glanced at Kakashi, who nodded. As Naruto smirked in his mind, it hasn't rained for months. There is no way that is real. As they kept on walking, Naruto then feels something. As two shinobis with chain dashed out of the water as they trapped Kakashi, as the both of them moved forward, ripping him in half, as his mingled body then dropped to the ground. The two shinobis with a chain smile, who were the demon brothers. Get the bridge builder, one of them said. As he dashed forward, Naruto smiled as he cracked his knuckles. Sasuke then went in front of the bridge builder to guard him. Kiba, you and Akamaru intersect the second one. Me and Kasumi will take this one, said Naruto. As they all went into their position, Kiba threw some smoke bombs in the air. As the man didn't have enough time, as they all dropped around him, he then heard Kiba said, Let's go, Akamaru. As Kiba did his technique, Gatsuga, as he slammed into the man back, slammed him down into a tree, knocking him out cold. As Kiba then turned to see Naruto fighting with Kasumi against the other ninja, Naruto quickly overpowered the demon brother as he knocked him into a tree. As Kasumi ran towards him and started to spin violently, as she took off straight to the demon brother, Naruto did a quick flash of hand signs as he took a breath of air. As he shouted, Man, beast, fire tornado! as he blew fire out of his mouth as the fire engulfed Kasumi, as she was now in red hot fire, as she rushed towards the man covered in fire. Piling down straight into his stomach, knocking him out cold. 
as she then jumped back. The fire didn't hurt her. It was a jutsu that Naruto and Kasumi were working on and now they have finally completed it. Alright Kakashi Sensei, you can come out now, Naruto yelled as Kakashi Sensei chuckled and appeared in front of everyone. Sorry about that, I just had to see how you would react in a situation like that, Kakashi said. And I am glad to say that you passed. Naruto, you gave the perfect instructions and you set people to do their specific jobs. You are in charge if and when I am out of commission, Kakashi told him. Naruto nodded with a smile as Kiba gave him a thumbs up as he got a scowl from Sasuke. Kakashi soon turned to Tazuna and narrowed his eyes. Tazuna then went on to explain that Gato was the one who was after him and Gato wanted to take over Wave and the only way for him to arrange his mission was to put it at a C rank but it is actually a B or slightly a A because none of them know about Zabuza's presence yet. But after some convincing and he telling them about his grandson that was going to cry if he died, Team 7 decided to take the mission. They then got on the boat as it took a couple of minutes with them on it. After them getting off, they started to walk as they realized that the fog was getting thick. Naruto heard something ruffle in the trees as he fling a kunai to see that he almost hit a rabbit. But then he noticed that this rabbit is a snow white rabbit that shouldn't be in this area. Everyone duck said Naruto as Tazuna was tackled to the ground by Kiba. As a blade passed them all as it slammed into a tree as then Zabuza appeared on the hold of the blade as he looked down at all of them. Well, it seems that I will have some amusement after all. No wonder that the demon brothers lost to you, Kakashi Sensei the copy ninja, said Zabuza as Kakashi looked up, Zabuza Momoshi. This is serious, said Kakashi as he lift up and open his eyes to reveal the Sharingan, making Sasuke go speechless. Kakashi Sensei had the Sharingan? But how? He isn't a Uchiha. How is this possible? He thought to himself. As Kiba was also shocked, but Naruto simply smirked. So that is the pride and the joy of the Uchiha's. I am not really shocked since Kurama told me about it. I but I can see why people think that is amazing. It is all powerful, Naruto said as he looked at the eye. Legend stated that the Sharingan can see into the future. So tell me Kakashi, what do you see? Zabuja shouted as the mist started to get thicker. I see your death, said Kakashi. As Zabuza then chuckled, okay, let's see about that, he said. As the mist swallowed him up and he was now unable to be seen. Kakashi turned around ready to tell his team what to do, but he noticed that all of them already did. The three of them guarded Tazuna as Kakashi smirked under his mask. Alright, they know how to protect him. Now I can fight without holding back as Zabuza then appeared 10 feet away from him and ran through some hand signs. Kakashi also ran through some hand signs as the both of them did a water dragon jutsu slamming the water dragon into each other. The both of them were on the complete same level with that technique as it cancelled each other out. As the both of them then went into an intense battle, raising their killer instinct against each other and their powerful amount of chakra and their key wave. As Sasuke stood there, so this is an elite battle as Sasuke was feeling the heavy pressure. If this go along, I could die, Sasuke thought as he felt like life was being choked out of him. Hey Uchiha, said Naruto bringing Sasuke back to reality. Don't you dare give up on me, Naruto shouted at him. You aren't going to die here. Have trust in our sensei, Naruto said to him as he gave him a look of confidence ensuring that he would be safe. As Naruto smiled at him as Sasuke then started thinking, what am I scared of? I am a Uchiha who will soon activate my Sharingans and I need this power to defeat him. 
So how can I let this simple battle put me down? He said as he holed up his school night straight, ready for anything. Old words, kid. Now, let's see if your sensei can bat them up. Zabuza said as he appeared in between the trio as he looked at Tazuna. It's over. Zabuza shouted as he came down with his sword. As Naruto said on ceiling, as he pulled out his own sword out of the seal and parry off Zabuza's attack. To much surprise to Zabuza and Kakashi, Naruto was able to stop him. Sorry Zabuza, but it won't be as simple as that, said Naruto. As he jumped up and kicked Zabuza in the face, sending him push back to the water. Zabuza whole body then disappeared in the water. As Kakashi with his Sharingan looked around, as then he felt a hand on his back, Water Prison, Water Prison Jutsu, said Zabuza, as he completely encased Kakashi in a water prison, as Kakashi could see that he was trapped, as he tried to slush and come out of it. It doesn't matter what you do, Copy Ninja, you will never get out of my water prison. The water then locked him in place. As Kakashi cursed, he couldn't move anymore. He was completely trapped. As another Zabuza then formed out of water and appeared in front of the original. Take the bridge builder and run, shouted Kakashi. Get out of here. He is on a totally different level as you guys. You cannot beat him. Kakashi shouted at the three of them to run away. Sasuke then left his spot. Please Kakashi, I am a Uchiha. This guy doesn't compare to me. I am going to make him go on his knees today, Sasuke said as he charged forward at the clone. Stop Sasuke, Naruto yelled out but he was being ignored by Sasuke, who had the kunai in his hand, charging forward at the water clone. The clone sighed as he just sidestepped Sasuke and slammed his foot into his stomach, sending Sasuke hurling into the trees. Naruto Curse as he turned and looked at Kiba, couldn't believe him that Sasuke did a stupid move like that. Kiba, guard Tazuna, Naruto said. Me and Kasumi are going to help Sasuke. Kiba nodded as Naruto ran off as Kiba and Akamaru stand guard around Tazuna as Kakashi watched all of them in front of him, thinking the worst. Naruto and Kasumi ran at the clone as Naruto made a shadow clone to look for Sasuke. As the mist was so thick, Naruto clone had to search his way around. Zabuza's clone draw out his sword as Naruto took four smoke bombs and threw them at the clone. Soon the smoke enveloped the clone as Naruto and Kasumi shot forward at the real Zabuza with a smirk. So they distract the clone so they could target the real one. Smart boy, said Zabuza as Naruto and Kasumi were coming at Zabuza with a deadly spin. Gyatsuga! Naruto yelled as both him and Kasumi attacked Zabuza. Zabuza smirked as he couldn't do anything because he was holding on to the water prison. So he released his hand and the water prison fall, freeing Kakashi. Good job Naruto, Kakashi said as Naruto nodded at him. Don't worry Kakashi, we'll handle the clone, you go after the real one. As the clone was in front of Sasuke with his huge sword holding over Sasuke's head. As Kasumi then transformed into a human form, you ready said Naruto. As Kasumi then nodded, yes Naruto, I am ready. As the both of them then start to charge at top speed before you could slice down on Sasuke. Meanwhile Sasuke was panicking, I am going to die. Sasuke thought to himself, I'm really going to die here. As Sasuke looked over as he saw Kiba, he then smirked as he said time to be useful, mutt. As he then used a substitution jutsu with him and Kiba, switching place with the both of them. As Kiba opened his eyes wide, what just happened? As he was now in front of Zabuza, which Kiba managed to turn, but he still got slashed on the wrist. But he didn't die as Sasuke was now in front of Tazuna. Kiba screamed out in pain as Naruto looked in pure anger to what Sasuke just did. Kakashi and the real Zabuza turned to see Kiba on the ground as the real Sasuke 
was in front of Tazuna as he was huffing with a smirk on his face. Kiba! Naruto yelled out as he pushed off with incredible speed, slashing at the clone, pushing it back. As Naruto went over to check on Kiba, well, I kill all of my classmates, but even I never did that, Zabuza said. To Kakashi, as Kakashi had a wide eye, as he was at complete shock to know what Sasuke just did. Kiba, are you alright? Naruto asked him. Naruto was froze as he realized that Kiba didn't just get sliced on his wrist. Kiba coughed up blood as Naruto looked at his friend. As Kiba then closed his eyes, as Naruto started to panic, Hey Kiba, get up, don't die on me here. You're going to be a clan head, aren't you? Naruto said as tears started to form in his eyes. As Naruto then turned and looked at Sasuke with pure anger on his face. But he then realized that he didn't finish off the water clone. The water clone came down with a slash, but Naruto vanished, moving Kiba out of the way. Naruto moved at an incredible speed. As he appeared in front of the water clone, Naruto squeezed his fist as he gathered much chakra as he could, as he slammed his fist right into the water clone's face, completely tearing off the water clone head. Well, it basically turned into water. As he then rushed over at Sasuke and pinned Sasuke on the ground. Why the hell did you do that? He was your teammate, yet you disposed of him like he was nothing. Naruto yelled at him as he was kneeing, putting his knee into Sasuke's back. Why? Why? Naruto shouted. He was lucky that he could use himself to save the last Uchiha. Sasuke said as Naruto started to leak red chakra. Naruto, calm down. You have to stay calm. The Kayubi plead as she said to him. The Kayubi was a total shock when she saw what Sasuke did. But Naruto was able to draw upon her power as his eyes then turned into the split. As his teeth then sharpened as the glow started to form around him. The Kayubi and Kasumi continued to watch as Naruto raised his hand against Sasuke. Sasuke! Naruto yelled out. But Naruto moved his hand in mid-second as he slammed a hole right in the ground. It was a huge crater with one fist as Sasuke then quickly moved away from Naruto as fast as he could. Both Zabuza and Kakashi turned to see Naruto on the floor with the glow around him. Kakashi took this as his best opportunity to end things right now. Water style, water spiral jutsu. Kakashi yelled as he sent the water spiral towards Zabuza. Zabuza was totally distracted as it crashed and slammed him into a tree. Now it's over. As Zabuza lay on the ground as Kakashi ready to form a lightning blade. But soon three sand bonds hit Zabuza in the neck as he dropped on the ground like he died. As Kakashi quickly turned around. To hear a voice, to see someone in the mask, thank you, I am a hunting ninja and this one have been escaping me for a while now, it's finally time that I caught him, thank you. The hunting ninja used a sunshin jutsu and disappeared, Naruto was still angry as he slammed his hand into the ground again, bruising up his hand as the fox glow was gone. As he was so pissed at what Sasuke just did, he wanted to end Sasuke's life right there, but he just didn't. Kakashi then rushed over as he saw Kiba on the ground and Naruto as well. Naruto had passed out. Kakashi still had his Sharingan activated as he noticed something was going on with Naruto. Most of his chakra was going up into his eyes. As he then rushed over and opened Naruto's eyes, as he saw a white ring and a black cross in the middle. Kakashi was a total shock. Is this a dojutsu? Kakashi wondered. Kakashi then turned to see Sasuke and Tazuna standing there as he made a shadow clone. But guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification stay posted. Remember to share this one to all of your friends on your social media platform. Turn on that notification. 
you click that red subscribe button and if you haven't yet what are you waiting for and remember to stay in tune because there is another what if coming after this one and yeah go and check out my second channel anime king 2 i'll be leaving the link at the top of the description but i'm off now guys peace